souls of the saints are rejoicing in heaven, the saints who follow the footsteps of Christ, and since for love of him they shed their blood, they now exult with Christ forever. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Today we celebrate St. Augustine, Zhao Wang, priest and his companion martyrs. And as we ask for their intercession, we pray to our Father in heaven for their intercession and forgiveness of our sins. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done, what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. O God, who in the wonderful providence have strengthened your church through the confession of the martyrs, St. Augustine's Zao, and companions, grant that your people, faithful to the mission entrusted to it, may enjoy even greater freedom and witness to the truth before the world through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, when Israel was a child, I loved him. Out of Egypt I called my son. The more I called them, the farther they went from me, sacrificing to the Baals and burning incense to idols. Yet it was I who taught Ephraim to walk, who took them in my arms. I drew them with human cords, with ba bands of love. I fostered them like one who raises an infant to his cheeks. Yet though I stooped to feed my child, they did not know that I was their healer. My heart is overwhelmed, my pity is stirred. I will not give vent to my blazing anger. I will not destroy Ephraim again, for I am God and not man, the Holy One present among you. I will not let the flames consume you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken from your throne upon the cherubim. Shine forth, rouse your power. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted, the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts, no sack for your journey, or second tunic, or sandals, or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it. 
and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words, go outside the house or the town and shake the dust from your feet. Amen, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on that day of judgment than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, come by the most powerful means of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. My brothers and sisters in Christ, today we celebrate St. Augustine Wong and his companions, over, I think, 120, 124 martyrs in the Chinese province as they were catechists and Christians teaching the faith to their children. Yet they were martyred for Christ. They were martyred because of Christianity. And in that, a resistance to lack of faith is important in our country and in the world. They were willing to shed their blood, to go to their own cross, in a sense, to defeat their own fear, to proclamate the gospel to pronounce the gospel, to give gospel life in the oriental system. My brothers and sisters in Christ, the things that are worth the most are the things that we fight for. Our marriages, our children, our country, our very life itself. And Christianity needs to be part of that. It needs to be central in our way of life. If we allow it to fall by the wayside, if we allow the distractions of life to come into our hearts and we push Christianity to the side, it will be pushed to the side in culture and has already. We see this in the schools. We see this as tearing down monuments of the Ten Commandments, the challenges within the Supreme Court, the killing of children through abortion. We see this ultra- um, reality come into play where science and all these things are more important than faith. If we read John Paul's teaching on faith and reason, it's important to realize that they are not opposite or polar opposites, science and reason. They are compatible together. They basically uh, complement one another. For there is one truth, and that one truth is the designer of life itself, God, who Christ is the Son of God. So all wisdom and knowledge and understanding is in this unbelievable place where we can achieve that. But it's through prayer, it's through study, it's through the scientific method, in a sense, that brings us to more truth. There's a lot of pseudoscience out there as well. So people like to use taglines and people like to use studies and sometimes even the studies are wrong. So we have to be aware, we have to be well read, we have to um, encourage each other to study what's happening in our own culture. My brothers and sisters, we celebrate many, many martyrs today who were a soft resistance to the Communist Party in China and in that, they brought faith to their families. They brought faith to the people around them. And they were executed for that. And we honor their sacrifice to bring Christianity to us, to the people around them, that they, um, they expand the family of Christ. There's an old saying in the church that the church is built on the blood of the martyrs. And I think it's important to realize that all the apostles except for John died for their faith. They died in the proclamation of the gospel. They died because they were promoting Christ. Does our courage bring that to us? How strong have we resisted sin? Have we resisted it to the shedding of our blood 
it says in scripture no in in america we're kind of soft that way we like our ease we like our comfort we like things to be easy but as things get harder and harder in our culture we must learn that the things that we fight for the most are the things that will survive and hopefully that's our family that's our faith and that's our life itself and the life of the unborn the life of the people in america the life of the people of the world we live in a culture today which there's so much chaos there's so much things going on that we don't know where to turn my brothers and sisters turn to christ he is the ultimate truth the only truth in a sense and in that vast expanse of truth all science all facts all truth comes out of that there's one truth and that is jesus christ and his father who created the world all the experiences of science the experiences of the universe the vast cosmos is within his mind but yet we try to get rid of him because we think as humans my brothers and sisters don't think as humans but think as god does elevate your conscience and start to think about eternal life what happens after death as these men and women died for their faith they did not concentrate on this life but they concentrated on eternal life and as we live here if we concentrate on eternal life the things of god we will uh, produce in our lives great fruit that people will be able to harvest people will be able to consume and that may be knowledge that may be love that may be peace that may be joy but the fruit that we need in this time of chaos is that fruit that comes from christ father we come before you in praise and thanksgiving we thank you for hearing us for we know you always hear us consider these needs and we beg you to answer them father we continue to pray for our church for our holy father as cardinals bishops for all priests deacons religious we pray for an increase of vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life let us pray to the lord we pray lord for our leadership in the world for wisdom knowledge and understanding we pray for a holy boldness let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer we pray lord for the sanctity of life from conception to natural death let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who come to us in crisis, our military, law enforcement, firefighters, first responders, hospital personnel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for your intentions in the silence of your hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those Christians all over the world who are under persecution for their faith, that they may have the courage, Lord, to bind themselves to you, the truth, the way, the life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And today we pray for Robert J. Perrins, for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, these are our prayers. We ask you to hear them through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and also through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, our Mother, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands and made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. The mystery of this bread. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Let us pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Blessed Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands and endured his passion so to break the bonds of death and to manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Anthony, with St. Augustine, Wong, and his companions, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, 
now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. It is you who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer a kingdom on you, says the Lord, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. And let us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that, drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Let us continue to pray for our nation. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who go throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. St. Augustine Wong, pray for us.